Hey gang, what's going on? Um, so in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, four different trade options for uh, two different pitchers. Uh, one I'm going to do with just Dylan Cease, and then the other is going to be with Dylan Cease and Crochet. And then the other one after that will just be with Bieber for both uh, trade scenarios. But before I get in that, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons, that'd be greatly appreciated. It's extremely helpful for the channel, gives me great feedback, as well as um, uh, I uh, love to hear what you guys think, and I want you guys to be uh, active on it, and I want you guys to tell me what you guys uh, think of, you know, the content and everything else. We are also on the road to 500 subscribers, so I thank you all for um, subscribing, for who have subscribed. So let's get on to it. So... Dylan Cease, that name's been thrown around quite a bit with the Yankees. They've been asking for Spencer Jones, Chase Hampton, uh, Jason Dominguez, they've been asking for the world for him. I understand why they're doing it, but they're not getting it, flat out. They asked the Orioles for Jackson Holiday, and the Orioles hung up and laughed at him. They asked the Yankees for Hampton, Dominguez, and Jones, the Yankees hung up and laughed at him. Very simple, you're not getting it. So let's come back down to reality. So here's some trade proposals for Dylan Cease and Shane Bieber that I'd like your thoughts on. So the first trade for um, Dylan Cease would, <clears throat> would consist of Oswald Peraza, Everson Pereira, because those two are blocked. Um, well, Pereira is blocked and Peraza is not getting the playing time that he should. So that's why those two are included in that deal. Uh, Oswald Cabrera, <clears throat> Oswaldo Cabrera, I should say. Um, then you, you could do Tommy Canely and Jorbic Vivas as one uh, one trade scenario. Or actually, for for this one, we're going to do Cease and Crochet. So that's my apology. So it would be Cease and Crochet. And that's where you give a Pereira, uh, Peraza, Cabrera, uh, Canely. <clears throat> And you give up uh, Jorbit Vivas as well. So that's Pereira, Peraza, Cabrera, uh, Canely, and Vivas. Or Serna, whichever you so choose, for Crochet and Cease. Um, that's the first deal. Uh, I personally would make that deal only because uh, we're saving Jones, Hampton, um, Arias, Lombard and you know you're saving the guys you don't want touched so if it means giving up that much to do it um, then I would rather give up more players for two players um, so for me that is a fair trade uh, it gives the White Sox and bats it gives them a relief pitcher um, it takes some payroll off of our salary off of our uh, salary or salary off for payroll I should say uh, so it cleans up the payroll a bit so it's a trade that I would do um, me personally I think that would be one trade that the Yankees would do as well uh, I don't think the White Sox would because they're still not on the planet earth with us in, in reality about Dylan Cease but to each his own uh, this trade would just be the next one would be just for Dylan Cease himself so the Yankees would, and in that trade, that five for two uh, trade, the Yankees would get Crochet and Dylan Cease. But for the trade for Dylan Cease alone, uh, it would be Pereira, uh, Peraza, and Oswaldo Cabrera. Uh, Cabrera. <clears throat> um, those would be the three going over there. It would be for a three for one. Uh, personally, Dylan Cease is not a number one or a number two. He's not. In, in my personal opinion um dylan cease is more like a number three a solid number three i'm not taking away the fact that he has struck out over 200 guys in three seasons and pitched over 200 innings in three seasons i'm not taking that away from him it's a remarkable feat but he's only had one good year so we have to remember that he is not a pedro martinez he's not a pedro martinez quality okay he's really not he is a good number three, and that's about as far as I put him. 
Um, the next one that I would, uh, I think I would say about Dylan Cease is, does the fact that he's on the White Sox hurt him a little bit? Yeah, that hurts him because the White Sox are a dumpster fire. But, but even still, I can't picture him as an ace or number two on any other rotation except for maybe the A's or the Angels. But that's about as far as I go. So those are the two trade proposals for Dylan Cease. Uh, three for one for Cease, five for two, five for two in a Cease crochet trade. Uh, let's get on to the Shane Bieber trade ideas. So for Shane Bieber, we know he's been injury prone, but he's been injury plagued uh, last few seasons, but he is still a great pitcher. He sells great stuff. Um, and it would make sense because he has that Matt Blake connection. He would also come cheaper than Dylan Cease. So remember that as well. So uh, for Shane Bieber, um, I would probably do Peraza Pereira. Uh, again, Peraza's not getting the playing time. It's not fair to keep uh, messing with his career. Um, and Pereira because he's blocked. So Peraza and Pereira. Um, I would probably, probably give him an Ian Hamilton just to be on the safe side, um, or a Tommy Canely, um, just in the sense that, you know, it, it give, well, for one, if you give Tommy Canely, it gets uh, salary off for payroll. Um, also, it gives them a pitcher back. Um, and if I had to, absolutely had to give him a starter, I might give him Nestor Cortez. So either Cortez or Canely and Peraza and Pereira. Um, I actually, you know what? We'll do Peraza, Pereira, Canely, and um, Cortez for Shane Bieber. Uh, that's one idea. Uh, personally, I would do it just because it gives us a durable pitcher when he's healthy. Um, I know it's a one year rental but you're not giving up a whole lot for him. Um, plus he has that Matt Blake connection. So that's another reason. So that's trade proposal number one for Shane Bieber. Um, trade proposal number two for Shane Bieber would be <clears throat> Peraza Pereira, um, give him Oswaldo Cabrera, <coughs> excuse me. And then I might give him um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nestor Cortez as well. So, one, you're giving up a reliever and a starter, plus two position players. The other, you're giving up three position players and a starter. So, it would be Cortez, Cabrera, Pereira, and uh, Peraza for Bieber. And in the other one, it would be Canely, Cortez, Peraza, and Pereira. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I can put the trade proposals in the description below if you guys uh, would like to read them. And let me know what you guys think. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you next time.